Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex's Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because today, what are we going to be doing? You might ask. Kate Middleton is missing. I heard Andrew Tate got arrested again. People are still talking about John Cena at the Oscars. But no, today we're going to be taking a look at a TikTok compilation of what I ate today as a fat person. Now, I'm not sure if these people are not trying to lose weight, trying to lose weight or somewhere in between. Maybe I'll get some meal ideas. <laughs> hey, you look pretty fat. Why don't you just make your own? Well, we're going to save that for a future video. Anyways, how is your guys week going? The temperature is starting to heat up. I can't wait to get outside, wear my shorts. I mean, I wear shorts all winter so it doesn't really matter. But for now, let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Okay, so here we're starting off. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some sort of brownie bread. I don't know. What I eat in a day as a fat vegan that's very unhealthy and a glorifies obesity. Glorifies obesity. In the big 2024, we're still glorifying obesity. I thought that was a thing we would leave in like... 2022 or something, but I guess there are still people doing it. I feel like in the recent months with all of these fat positive influencers passing away, you know, I did hear that there is a mutiny. There is a mutiny, mutiny <laughs> within the fat acceptance community with all of the people that are passing away, right? People are starting to turn away, abort, abort. Let's maybe do something else because this isn't working. This person was only 41 years old and they went bye-bye. So maybe not. And a lot of people in the community are like in their 20s. So, you know, they're fine. And everyone's fine because they're 20, because you're 22. So that's why you're fine, girl. Cinnamon raisin French toast. I mean, breakfast sausage. To furkey rat. I love myself a good uh, something sweet, right? The American breakfast always has to be super sweet. Dairy free bursain and GF crackers. We're eating out of the dip container. See, that's where she went wrong. Eating out of the dip container in a car. You're going to get it everywhere. This coming from a person who did a paneer mukbang in a car. <laughs> but she gotta do what she gotta do. Teriyaki tofu over mixed veggies and white rice. I hated this ice cream. Oh girl, why do you have to lie? Since when, when is ice cream ever bad? I don't think I've ever went to an ice cream place and was like, this is gross. It just does not happen. It doesn't happen. Fries, okay, love you, bye. What I eat in a day. Me. I mean, a lot of the time, those fast food fries, very hit or miss. Very hit or miss. You have to get them within like five minutes of them being made. Like the stars have to align for you to get good fast food fries. Ugh, say that five times fast. You want to get them from the DoorDash? Forget about it. Just forget about it because they're not going to be good. Air fryer, some sweet potato fries. You know, we have to be intuitive every now and again, not only to lose weight, but to save money in this economy. Yes. Fat person that doesn't diet or focus on weight loss. Egg and we get ketchup it, burrito. Why do they always have to like, I guess that's the trend, but they always have to preface like, I am not trying to lose weight. Don't you put that on me? I guess for people in the comment section. Peanut butter Ritz bit. Lettuce wrapped hard boiled eggs with hot sauce. This chocolate. But do people celebrate this? I love a good hard boiled egg. Never thought of just wrapping it in a piece of lettuce, but you know, that's pretty versatile. Pudding thing, it was pretty good, but had a strong coconut flavor. Doritos. Chili cheese. I keep seeing Doritos pop up on. There's like these health gurus on Instagram reels talking about Doritos. There's like something in it that is really bad for you. Now, I don't really eat Doritos very often. So I can't say, I can't remember the last time I bought a family size bag, but I, I will enjoy a single serving size bag now and again, now and again. Spaghetti IDK, I napped too hard and just needed food. Okay, love you. Bye. Is that just like cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese? Spaghetti IDK, I napped too hard and just needed food. Okay. Okay, it's like spaghetti, but it's spaghetti, but all I saw was the cheese. 
a bowl of cheese. You know what they tell you about that cheese? It's literally like crack cocaine. Love you, bye. The yeast in a day is a fat bitch who very controversially doesn't give a fuck that she's fat. I threw together some breakfast after just going from shopping, so I had a chicken wrap and a munch bunch. This is the first time I've seen this Haribo, so I had to try it. I'll give them a 6 out of 10. This is like part two to the- Gummy candy? Oh, goodness. I could eat all, I could eat all the gummy candy in the world, but absolutely zero nutritional value. Not good for you in any sense of the word. But they're pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Tasty. Sour. Give me sour. I like hurting myself. Like, make it that sour. No YouTube. Not like that. It looks like she got a little too much. You know what I mean? Too big of a bite. Don't choke on it, girl. Don't choke on it. Crunchy as well. Someone please tell me to eat the Kit Kats like this. All the chocolate off the edges, then the wafer. Obviously Wasn't that like a Kim? No. Wrong sister. Kourtney Kardashian thing. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have done that, especially kids. That's like such a kid coded thing to do let me eat this like not the way you're supposed to but i'm gonna do it anyway i've done it before i just want a full bite and give me the reese's peanut butter kit kats they're not called kit kats but they're so good that was a like breakfast so see time next i have mash broccoli mince and beetroot it was so amazing but definitely too much food so it's little bit left at the end i stayed up late tidy my room and obviously i missed lunch today. i mean that does look heavy right so I had these late at night while I was tidy in my room. That's the worst time. I mean, that's my kryptonite, right? The reason why my weight's not melting off <laughs> is because of those late night snacks. Got to get back on that IF, you know what I'm saying? Go oh, eat today and today we had a bloody belter. So I day off with two slices of toast, but I love this seedy bread and the amount of Oh my goodness, sometimes you're on TikTok scrolling and you hear these people talking with English accents and you can't understand a word that they're saying. It's like they're speaking English but it's a different kind of, it's not computing. It might as well be something different. But uh, yes, please. Then I had cream tea in the afternoon. Look how much cream I put in, bang in. I always put the cream first and jam on top. What do you do? And they will always be a scone to me, sorry. Yeah, do that. I mean, that is like, is that really just, see, I will start saying like, really? <laughs> is that really just like a dollop of cream with a bit of jam on top? I then had an oasis. If you don't know, I don't live in England. I miss oasis so much. It's literally banging. I had these all stations. Not all stations. Where is she at in the States? Sensations. Thai sweet chili. Gorge. We polished off the bag. Not going to lie to you. Then we had an elderflower gin in the backyard and with my nan. This is my nan's house, by the way. She made us cheese and tomato sandwiches. Look at that. Wow, look at those cabinets, though. Gorge. Love French stick like that with salad cream and all. It's giving, like, 1950s. Proper British sandwich, don't you think? After you eat something savoury, of course you've got to have something Proper sweet. Proper British. We had some of this walnut cake. I thought you couldn't get walnut cake. I thought it was just coffee cake and then coffee and walnut. But no, you can just get walnut cake and it was gorge. This one, it sounds like she has a lot of energy for eating all that junk. Then you just Starbucks. Got one of these Starbucks Frappuccino cans. I guess it's from the Starbucks Frappuccinos. Things. It was all right. And then for dinner, I want something really healthy. So I had spaghetti bolognese, double cheese. This That's really, really healthy. G-lick bread with spaghetti is so good. I love G-lick bread. And hey, with that dinner. But that's all I had today. If you like this video, make sure you follow. That was like my birthday dinner. Um, spaghetti and meatballs, extra cheese, uh, Texas toast, no breadstick, but Texas toast. That's my jam. One for more. What I eat in a day is a disgusting fat person who is very hungover <laughs> after a birthday. So Oof. I did actually have some toast when I first woke up. And you have to have the fast food, right? It's such a bad habit, but I do have to say whenever I am hungover, which is not very often, maybe like once or twice a year, I will lay in bed. I will make sure that I can just lay in bed the next day because it is so absolutely atrocious and order something from fast food on my phone. You know, my only action is getting up and going to the door to get that bag, but it just hits different, soaks up the alcohol and you feel like 100% right after. No, you actually feel worse, but you know, at least you're not hungry. I know this, it says veggie dippers and chips. So chips are French fries, but veggie dippers, that must be an England only thing. We don't have anything fancy like that. When I get the veggies, veggie dippers, it's the Morningstar Farms grocery store. Then I fell asleep and I had a Mackey's and then I had a few mouthfuls of this cake, but it wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be. And then I had a handful of pretzels later on and then I slept for like five or six. It's just like junk and junk and junk.
Doesn't she ever like eventually crave something delicious and nutritious, full of some energy? That's what happens to me. Like if I'm having a really bad eating day, by the end of the day, like I will crave steak and maybe just like rice or something, like a carb and a meat. I want that like fuel, not just pretzels and McDonald's. And ugh, I would just be in bed all day. It looks like she is in bed. Hours. <laughs> so then when I got back, but up, I guess this is a hangover day. We ordered Domino's. I had some of the chicken nuggets. Domino's too. And then about half of a vegan. Blimey, Domino's too. Pizza. So while I'm here, I just want to say thank you for 2,000 followers, and also to. Oh my gosh, you know, like you know, if you do drink and then you wake up the next day, like you're down like two pounds from the dehydration, and then the next day, you're like up five. Plus all the sodium, the pizza, the McDonald's. That scale's going crazy. The lads, um, A, mm -mm. I'm not looking for your unwanted advice. Um, and I don't give a fuck. I don't know. It. Keep eating, right? That's my advice to these people. I'm disgusting. So, okay, bye. <laughs> Hello, here's Maybe a not. <laughs> uh, delete that. Delete that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Today's happy fat woman hangover edition. I was really honestly nervous. What is this? The same girl? Post this one because it's a hangover food day, and I've been getting a lot of hate comments. But no, she's Brit. She's not British. The other girl was British. We're gonna go for it. Start off the day with a breakfast sandwich: eggs, cheese, tomato, potatoes, eggs, bacon, grits, sausage. Delicious. I wanted some truffles. I thought I wanted milk chocolate. I didn't. I wanted dark chocolate and white chocolate. I had some hummus with some crackers watching Halloween Town. And then we went back. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me like this. I, I didn't hear about like. What if one of these people like passed away by now? It, it could happen. For the scene of the crime of the hangover to have some games Had i mean this video is from january two little hershey kisses and then we decided to the take compilation the desserts from last night so i had the cinnamon swirl and this little brownie shaped with the like hocus pocus and we ended the night at taco bell one taco bell four, two three and then four see i think people that like have bed it happens at night because there is so much shame not saying that this is like or like saying this is a bee, right? Or whatever that is to her. But it happens at night because of the shame, because of the guilt. That's half the quesadilla is my fourth piece. Along with that quesadilla, I also had a bean burrito and there's 555, good things coming, love you. Oh, that was the bean burrito. I was like a bean burrito and those two? No, that was the bean burrito. Hi guys, so welcome back to another- Why does that look like lips? What I eat in a day, remember I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I made myself a sandwich on top of my cheese toasted. I just find it so interesting that they just make it so like happy and chipper. Like here I am eating unhealthy, just a reminder. I don't need your advice. I don't need your hate comments. I don't need your love. I just need a like on this video. Bread. I smeared on some Salvadorian sour cream, grated on a hard boiled egg, sprinkled on some hot sauce, and then piled on a mountain of spinach. I've had this breakfast like three days in a row, but don't be surprised when you see me have it again tomorrow and the next. You know, I think I've watched hers before. Okay, because I am literally obsessed. See how if much don't look too bad. If you're listening to this video right now, go to the comments and let me know what you like to have inside of your breakfast sandwich. Today for a little midday snack, I decided to make myself a little snack plate. And they always say cottage cheese, like if you talk to a dietitian or something. Get your cottage cheese. Some people even like to blend up the cottage cheese. Use that as a spread. My snack plate is consisting of some cottage cheese, baby okay, carrots, chips. and some sweet and spicy jalapeno kettle. She had me in the first half. Chips. Y'all, I am literally so excited right now. So I don't know when you're going to post this video, but today when I'm doing this voiceover, it is July 29th. And right now... Although if I had to get chips, well, nobody's going to have to tempt me to get chips. It would be the jalapeno or salt and vinegar. My brother and his girlfriend are in the hospital having their baby. Oh well, my, she's oh. in labor and process to have her baby, but oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to be an aunt. I was like, they're in the hospital and they're dying. Nope. They're having a baby. Anyways, today for lunch, I made myself a microwavable meal. This one came with garlic parmesan chicken tenders and some mashed potatoes. Tonight for dinner, me and my boyfriend went to his grandparents' house. I had a chicken thigh, a jalapeno popper, potato salad, rice, and some guacamole. The last thing I had for the day was okay. a cucumber lime icicle. But like, Get that rice in. I always tell y'all, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Bye. This is a reminder to take a water break. Okay. 
<laughs> Should I be toxically positive? No, everybody can see how fake that is. Ugh. Gives me the ick. What I eat in a day is a fat girl who is literally just existing. New York City edition. I don't remember what. Okay, this could be interesting. I did for breakfast that New day. Twist. But I probably skipped it because I had to take a huge order to Plus Brooklyn. And I wanted to have the whole New York City cafe experience. I couldn't find anything anywhere. So she just went to a Starbucks. Girl, you can get the, that in any city in the U.S. So Starbucks it was, which was fine because I got my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. And then I ended up just finding like this really cute, quiet corner to sit in. Once I was done, I was on the subway to Greenpoint to pick up. Onto the subway. I always see like those pictures of subways in Europe and they look so clean. And then you go to New York City or Philly and it smells like so bad. Like people go to the bathroom down there. I used to ride Philly subway like almost every day. Yet another suitcase because I packed way too much. And it was a blazing 35 degrees Celsius outside. So I needed to get some real food in me. Girl, we don't even know what that is. Like, you sound American. Why are you saying Celsius? I've personally never had a Korean corn dog. So when I saw this walking to my destination, I knew I had to try it. I what is she doing and what is the destination? We're in New York. We're just eating. Is that the destination, the next restaurant that you're going to? I mean... It's New York City, some of the best food in the world. But yeah, I'm still kind of judging. I've given anything to have the cheese filled version, but this potato version, oh my God, it was no so cheese? good. Nobody told me that it had like sugar on it though. I had one of those in Chicago. Not a fan of the fil or the sugar, sorry. Filter? Sugar. Was that just this place or is that a common no, experience everywhere. with these corn dogs? Anyways, after that, I hopped on the bus and went back home. By the way, New York City buses. <laughs> Nobody really warns you about them. I changed up my outfit. Girl, what was it like? Because I got sauce all over it and went to go meet my friend Angel for Thai food. All I've been doing since getting here is eating dumplings and Thai food. It's like otherworldly in New York. Angel and I both ended up getting the shrimp fried rice. And uh, that was pretty much my night. You know. I ended up having Chinese twice when I was in Chicago because it was so good. And the portions were big and it was not that expensive. Like if you went to a chain restaurant or something, it would be more. And I like Chinese, so. Welcome back to what I eat in a day as a fat woman who's not interested in losing weight. For breakfast, I had some sausage. Not interested. <laughs> and a BLT and M I'm just like not interested. I know the benefits. I know the cons. I know the pros, but. You know, I'm just not interested. I'd rather sit in bed and scroll on TikTok and eat this bag of Doritos. Big bagel sandwich. Mmm, <laughs> with the bacon and the Nando sauce. This looks delicious. That cross section, damn. Then me and my best I mean, that does look like she bought it at a restaurant. Friend, for a late lunch, we went to get some Chun Chun rice dogs. If you watched the series before, you know this is a fave. Okay, so the big folks like the uh, Korean hot dogs. You know, I I don't think I'll ever get one again. Maybe just the cheese. We're back at it again. No. No, the only way to eat the chung chung the right way. I don't think they're that great, to be honest. And I really wanted one. And then when I finally had one. Cheese light. It's good, but. Obviously, my belly definitely approved here. And here's Dante trying his rice dog. Mm. Oh, the cheese pool! Yes! Not the cheese pool. Okay, I also need a cheese The heart attack pool. Cheese pool. So, it's all about not biting down too hard. Do it for the plot. <laughs> Do it for the TikTok. <laughs> My boyfriend works night, so my schedule's a little messed up. So a little later, we also had... A Remember we used to say, do it for the Vine, do it for the Gram? I feel like that was when people were committing crimes <laughs> for the internet to see. I mean, that was a thing before TikTok. People thought it was only TikTok that was people filming them committing crimes. No, they did that on Vine too. Not exactly smart, but... Some TikTok pasta. I was very happy how this turned out. It was delicious. Oh, TikTok pasta. As you can see, I'm what's her for you page? She just keeps scrolling. This is how you make a pizza. And then it's like the new TikTok pasta recipe. <laughs> what I ate today is a fat person not trying to lose weight. 
going back for more, so it was obviously good. Are you My fat? belly approved, and then before bed, I had an iced chai tea latte. My favorite. I hope everybody remembers they're worthy to eat. What I eat in day as a I don't know why, but that is just so annoying to me. It's not like I disagree with it, but you're worthy to eat. Girl, bye. Fat bitch. Let's I don't need you to tell me that. Okay, I had Starbucks again, and I think this is a double smoked fucking bacon sandwich, but if you ask me, it's more like double smoked ass. Was not good. That means, girl, then I'm sure she spent like $15 on that meal. All right. Wasn't even good. Why buy food at Starbucks? Don't get it. Don't recommend. Also, ooh, yummy, a mouthful of food. And then I- $7 for a microwave sandwich. You could just buy those like four packs of Jimmy Dean sandwiches. <laughs> Same quality, better. Honestly, you can doctor it up however you like. Drank more coffee and proceeded to shit it all out. They that is like gross. I was already thinking like she's kind of crass. Sometimes it's just too much, like the cursing. I'm, I'm a curser. Honestly, I, I do cuss a little, but <laughs> when it's too much, it's too much. Thank you. And then I had all you can eat sushi and yeah, bitch, it was a buffet. Fat bitch. Four. Like buffets and guess what? I'm a fat bitch. So. She's real unap unapologetic about it. That's what we had. That was an egg roll. It really does kind of turn you off. Like, is this necessary? Seaweed salad. Now, I don't know what the fuck any of the other shit is. But I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I also had garlic bread. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, I'm also uncultured and don't know the names of any of these. So you're welcome. But if you do not put your seaweed salad on top of whatever roll you're fucking eating, go to hell. You must try. Seaweed salad's so fucking good. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh she's into it. All right. Oh, my God. Do you see how fucking big that piece of seaweed was? Oh, it literally juiced in my mouth. Mmm. Then I had water because I'm skinny and so thick. Is this TikTok or another website? And then I came home and ate. That just kind of freaked me out. And here she is at 3 a.m. eating the chips, the only light in the room from the phone. I mean, it's a familiar scene, isn't it? Chips. Not pretty. Because I was starving, bitch. What do you want from me? What are they wasting away? Then for dinner, I had... Uh, Damn, that's a lot of chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, because I'm too lazy to cook real food. This was like the worst or best one that I saw. That sauce was a concoction of things in my fridge. Because one thing about me, bitch, I'm gonna have my sauce. More water, because skinny. Okay, bye. That's like, that can be a thing. I just need something to have this particular sauce. I will crave ketchup. And usually, I don't really have french fries at home. So, I will have to use like frozen chicken fingers or something so I can get my ketchup fix or even a barbecue fix. It's not even about the chicken nuggets. It's about the sauce. You feel me? I'm not really feeling this girl. Mm -mm. Next. In a day as a Next contestant. That girl trying to lose less brain cells thinking about dieting all the time. I'm starving. Let's eat. Oh, she had me. You know, at least it looks clean and put together. And she's chopping some veggies. Like, can't say I dislike this song. All right. What is she hitting us with the coffee? Does that mean it slaps when you slap? Okay. <laughs> Her kombucha. Oh yeah, I've gotten that at Target. It tastes kind of funky. I know it's supposed to. It tastes like apple cider vinegar, kind of, but also almost like a beer in a way. Like it sits in your stomach like a beer. I think I like the pink lady one better though. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I will get one every now and again. I don't even know what it does for you. I just heard it was good once. <laughs> Typical American. She's got the aesthetic going. Hey besties, here's what I ate in a day as a fat person who doesn't spend their whole life worrying about what they eat and losing weight. Mm. And this is a re It really is contagious. One in the chat. If you yawned. Realistic what I eat in a day.
So I woke up and got ready for breakfast. I just had some frozen waffles. I've really been craving them lately and they just hit the spot every time. So I popped those in the toaster and then I got my coffee started. I put my multivitamins next oh, to Oh, the my frozen waffles, the Eggos, girl. Is it uh, middle school? You woke up 15 minutes early so you could have your Eggos. I would be the one that would wake up 10 minutes before the bus. I was lucky if I got a Nutrigrain bar. Coffee makers, so I remember to take them and it works. And I'm a gummy girly for life, don't come at me. I made a ice caramel latte and then I flipped the waffles around to make sure they get coated and toasted, what the freak ever on both sides. An espresso, sides. is that better than the Keurig? I have a Keurig, but I don't use it that much. And I also cooked another one because who in the heck only eats two waffles? That doesn't make any sense. And I would have had four. Usually when I eat the waffles, I only have two. There but was okay, only six left go in off. the pack and I wanted to have three for next time. But anyways, if you've watched me for a long time, you know that I'm a dipper. I don't want the crusty, dusty syrup all up on my hands. So that's why I choose to dip instead of eating it with a, well, I guess I could eat it with a fork and it wouldn't get on my hands, but whatever. Right, a fork and a knife. That's how I eat it. That's how, you know, people eat their food. Coffee hit, the waffles were good. Also, Bestie Alley keeps her syrup in the fridge. I didn't know that was a thing. Growing up, we never put our syrup in the fridge. So let me know. Oh, yeah, you have to. You do. Any who's it, it's time for lunch now. I got my life together. I put. I feel like if you don't put it in the fridge, then it's very susceptible because it's so sweet. If there's any like bugs in your house and they find it, they will have their whole colony. They will have their whole colony come and get that syrup. So I, yeah, I'd put it in the fridge. Close on. And when I tell y'all, this has been my hyper phase. I'm sorry. Please don't tell me that's a Drew Barrymore one. Please don't tell me that's a Drew Barrymore one. It is. What was that? When I tell you this has been my hyper fixation for the last week, I have genuinely eaten this like five days in a row now. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I'm obsessed with the toasted ravioli from Aldi. So I put that in the air fryer and while that's cooking, I make my sub in a tub. I'm like three months late for this, but once I started eating it, I cannot stop. Y'all were here with me for my first video and now well, I'm- Well, okay, here we got some lettuce. I wanted to get one of these like- salad makers <laughs> i don't know if it's called a salad maker it's a veggie chopper but you could just make a salad in it daily i got a new chopper it's in my amazon storefront if you care but this combination literally sends me no girl you're not making a penny off of me out of the bot out it's, it's an mm -mm. out I, I have an irrational fear that i have a brain tumor so sometimes whenever i go off like that i'm like huh maybe it's my brain tumor but anyway this meal sends me into orbit yeah, maybe it is <laughs> an out-of-body experience but yeah i just feel so good after i eat it it doesn't feel like i had like deep fried food it just smells so fr i just oh oh my gosh it's so good and shout out to aldi man it's not an ad all well, yeah you it's want not deep fried right? me, what's up and yes i eat off the floor it's my house it builds up the immune oh did she really pick those off of the floor and put them in there well, I wouldn't do that. killing it with everything and it's so cheap. What does I she just need the juice? Spent like $20 on okay. all these supplies. If that and they just last me. Oh, so good. So I put everything that I would put in a sub, lettuce, cucumber, ham. That's the dressing, mayonnaise. Cheese that sometimes sticks, but whatever. And banana peppers, mayo as the dressing, salt and pepper. I know it's oh, okay. I guess it's her sub in a tub. So it's kind of like a salad, kind of like a sub, but mayonnaise dressing, guys. Mayonnaise dressing plain but it's so i just i cannot <laughs> tell you how good it is and yes i eat half the bag of ravioli please leave me alone so i ate my lunch while i watched you're it. the one showing it off housewife i'm on season 12 of new jersey it is so good and you just see the light come back into my eyes after the first i just can't with new jersey anymore if you guys watch it last few seasons like why bother bite of this i can i don't know what it is i make it i don't put crack in it it's just the most satisfied food i've just I, I don't, eh. for dessert i had a cutie little cookie with the icing they're the best then i went on an afternoon walk and when i came back i ate the trader joe's apples that i got with some peanut butter it was so good sour at first but wow it was so good that i got another thing of peanut butter which like of course i could have just used it out of the jar but that's no fun there's this i am an apples and peanut butter person Especially if you're like starving, but you don't even really have that much time. It's a quick one. Satisfying look of a fresh thing of peanut butter. Before dinner snack. Cosmo knows peanut butter. He's just sitting there like, mom, I want it. But he normally doesn't even beg because he doesn't have people food. But then for dinner after that, I had a buffalo chicken pizza that I got from Aldi a couple days ago and I just nuked it. It was really spicy for some reason. And I took my mm. walk so late, I didn't get to have my afternoon smoothie. Just an old ass pizza. So I ate it as kind of like a dessert. It's literally just frozen mango, pineapple, all that junk with tropical juice. And it I used to have one of those every single day just uh, 
frozen fruit from Target. Tastes just like you get Some it at kind a smoothie of juice. place. I ran out of fruit though, which is why I had a small smoothie. But Cosmo looked like he was interested. So I drank my little smoothie and that was it for today. I can't guarantee I won't go eat some chocolate after this. But I don't care. I eat what I want. Love you. Bye. It just is what it is. It's a free for all. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. That concludes our little look at what I ate today as a fat person not trying to lose weight. <laughs> we did do one video like this already, I believe two or three years ago by now. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should just do my own what I ate today. On track, off track, you never know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.